Governor Cuomo announced schools in New York State would stay closed for at least two weeks. So, what do parents do to keep their kids' minds on learning? Rebecca Fath, live in Rochester, with more on this very important topic. Rebecca. Yeah, Adam and Maureen, most students have been home from school for about two days now, and everyone's just trying to adjust, and parents are trying to work out a plan. Eight-year-old Kara is reading a book online. So she was able to choose a book of her choice. Jessica Kuiper was a substitute teacher living in Chai Lai before all the schools shut down. Now her daughters in second and fourth grade are her only students. To keep everyone safe, we interviewed Jessica from our news car on FaceTime instead of going to her house. She's having success with homeschooling. Jessica says a schedule is very important. Morning time. I have broken up the morning to kind of be our math time, and um, so I'll work with one for a half hour on whatever their teacher assigned, and then I work with the other one um, for another half hour. Special time. Today we did music, so my fourth grader practiced her violin, um, and my second grader I found some free music apps. And afternoon time. We just got done doing our ELA, and again, both girls had articles um, from their teachers on Google Classroom, so we read through them, and then they had to write responses. Um, when they, my kids had the morning free time, my daughter grabbed her, um, I, her iPad, and I said to her, I said, you can't have that right now. And she kind of looked at me like, well, why? I'm at home. And I said, would your teacher allow you to have this outdoor free time? Um, and she said, no. So for me, it's, you know, for me as a parent, it's sticking to that schedule. Of yeah, and so as Jessica was saying, it's really important to make sure that your children are not on those electronic devices during school hours so like if their teacher wouldn't let them be on the phone that's what you should tell them that i'm not going to let you be on the phone if your teacher wouldn't let you anyway and she said that's a good way to communicate to students and children that they just can't have their cell phones or ipads out all right rebecca reporting live from rochester there's going to be some interesting conversations in many households over the next couple of weeks if not months